Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, as promised, I still need to show you how to do a label by using the Microsoft Label Vendor. Alright, let's jump into it. You're going to click on Mailings. Start Mail Merge. Labels. The nice thing about the Microsoft Label Vendor is you are able to customize your label. Now, I would advise using the Microsoft option only if you cannot find what you are looking for by using the A1 label vendor. All right. Now, as I said, we first need to focus on our label vendor and we are going to choose the Microsoft option. So you choose Microsoft and then it's very um, important that you need to go and check your question paper. Did they specify what orientation the label should be? Now it's either it either will be portrait or it will be landscape. Now let's see. We go down the list here under our products. We need to go and find A4 landscape or A4 portrait. Please pay attention now just for just let's guess they wanted uh, portrait let's assume they wanted portrait we need to focus on whether or not as you can see there's two landscapes for a4 and there's two landscapes for up to portraits for a4 now which one are you going to choose now if it was portrait a a4 the first one is photo paper and the second one is just normal paper the same applies with the landscape option you had a4 landscape photo paper and a4 landscape normal paper students in our in our labs we do not print on photo paper however one day in the real world you might have to print on photo paper then you would choose the photo paper option but for our purpose for our exam purpose we are just going to print on normal a4 paper so don't choose the, the photo paper option choose the a4 option all right a4 portrait that's what we decided on and once you have decided, remember, you've chosen your label vendor and you've chosen what orientation it should be. Now you can go into lay um, uh, details. Under details, you kind of have a blank slate and you now decide what you want. Now, let's say, for example, we want uh, across. Remember, across means columns and down means rows. So across, let's say we want two columns. And down, let's say we want uh, six, six uh, rows. All right, so two columns and six rows. And then, students, all that you have to focus on is the label width, the label height, the horizontal pitch, and the vertical pitch. That's all that you need to focus on. You do not worry about the margins or anything else. So, the label width, change it to four. The label height, change it to four. The horizontal pitch change it to four and the vertical pitch change it to four and that's it you click on ok ok again i'm sorry i obviously had other um labels here as well and that's why i got that message to signal so now you have your now you have a blank page or it looks like it's a blank page because of that little thing over there we know it's not a blank page somewhere on this page there is some kind of a table or labels so press control on your keyboard and the letter a or the key a on your keyboard to select or you could have just clicked on this little icon as well um, once you've done that you click on home go to borders and select all borders then you have your your label but it's a bit small so make it slightly bigger by dragging it all down your page but don't drag too far down because then you will get two pages and a label must never get two pages so when you drag this down just drag it down as far as you can but still remaining on the first page all right something like that and there you have your label two columns one two and six rows one two three four five six 
and then you just continue doing what you've done earlier you type in your heading label um, let's make the center change the font change the size and update the label all right then insert home left and line change the size back to size 12 font 6 run back to, uh, to Arial um, and insert your your mailings your, uh, your, 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 your your merge fields but you first have to open up your your data source file so that you can insert your merge fields name surname amount for example update your label all right finish and merge there we have them and only once you have finished and merge then you can type in your details your student number oh, sorry your id number your examination number and the question all right so that was that's really in a nutshell how to do labels with by using the microsoft label vendor thank you so much students please comment below if there's any questions um and also please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much bye